Hello everybody and welcome back to another review and to another birthday request here on the channel where today we're going to be taking a look at the Precision Series Film Wars Taste In, a birthday request by my good friend the Piston 11. So happy birthday to you the Piston 11. I hope you are having a great day. Usually I wouldn't accept a request uh, for a building or a playset for a birthday request but for a good friend of mine like the Piston 11 I will make an exception. I hope you're having a great birthday. Make sure to go check out his channel. He has been absolutely blowing up lately. He's gained a thousand subscribers in like less than a month. So huge shout out to him. Make some great videos over there. And I'm so glad to see more people discovering his content. Anyway, he's a big fan of the Precision Series, especially the Precision Series building. So he asked that I review Fillmore's Taste In. This was the second building released for the Precision Series. Retailed for about $50 when it came out back in 2015. I got it for Christmas of 2017. It obviously sells for a heck of a lot more nowadays. Uh, it comes with all that you see here, or it came with all that you see here. A exclusive glow-in-the-dark Fillmore. A little fuel can accessory, the building itself. Uh, this piece of terrain and a piece of road, as well as a piece that can connect it to story sets. Uh, the story set adapter could be plugged in to this little piece right here. Now, in order to review this set, I actually had to put new batteries in it for the first time in a few years. And uh, it was honestly pretty funny when I opened it up, the old batteries, I've never had to replace the batteries in one of these buildings before. Um, but the batteries were dead. Uh, it said on the batteries, not for resale, which is so funny because I've had the Try Me batteries in uh, this entire time, ever since I got it back in 2017. Now, the building is exquisitely detailed, as all Precision Series buildings are. I always keep the road pieces attached to it, but for the sake of space for this review, I am going to remove them. You can see. Um, I don't really know why they made these be two separate pieces, other than for the sake of, uh, you know, ease of space or ease of fitting it into the box. But I believe so they're the exact same size. So if you need a bit of a smaller display, you could remove this little piece of land and just attach it directly to the road. We've got the Fillmore sign here out front. I love how all of the different uh, little fuel can, or I think these are muffler letters, move individually except for these three which have the little tire here Fillmore's taste in fuel of course they say all put together so beautifully done all these sets were so beautifully done we've got the little taste in logo there of course in front of the tent this rock turns the lights on we will do that in a little bit you can see a little bit of the interior this set doesn't have much of an interior but you could see several of Fillmore's different flavors uh let's see we have ooh, that is way too bright raspberry Organic ra raspberry, free ramp seaweed, corn or corn fed soy. That's yucca over there. Uh, looks like it says blue corn, sweet yellow corn. Uh, for Miami oat bran, sure. Beteroid free prickly pear and 100% whole wheat. So, uh, yeah, oh wait, oh no, that says steroid free, sorry. How did I read that as b -word? I think that's supposed to say steroid free prickly pear. Um, and if not, then I, I feel like they just threw random letters in random places at some point there. Um, we have this little spinning thing on the side, as well as this big spinning thing over here. Look at that, wow. We have the whole building itself. Obviously, these are two lights down here, two of the places that lights uh, come out of. On the back here, we have a few different light switches as well as a port to plug it into a wall if you so choose as well as i believe this is like a light sensor there's a mode that uh turns the buildings on only at night so that is what that is of course we also have this roadway like i said the story set adapter plugs in back there i have this really nicely done roadway you could drive fillmore or anyone else down uh, and then over here we have this little guy on a spring just sort of wobbles around. Here is a look at the base, not much to see. You can see where, of course, the batteries go in. It takes three double A's. Mine's a little scuffed up there for some reason. Oh, and then there is uh, all the legal information. Look at that. 
Wow. Cool. <laughs> now, as for the other things in the set, of course, it came with this little fuel can. Some little yin yang signs on it. As well as this very cool glow in the dark Fillmore. Unlike the other Precision Series uh, vehicles, he doesn't light up uh, at the press of a button. Instead, he glows in the dark after being charged in sort of the blue light of the tent. Uh, so you could put him in this entrance or this entrance over here, which is easily my favorite part of the set. This little area that Fillmore could drive out of, um, which has all of these little beads just like in the movie and if you look in the back I just noticed this for the first time right now there's a lava lamp in there such a fun detail can we see some other stuff back there as well I don't think you really can it looks like a stereo maybe just you know some stuff for Fillmore to uh to be able to live in there you can see you could tuck him in nice and cozy there or tuck him in over there and again lights come out of both sides and when they do you get that as you can see really really beautiful um with the uh with the, the sort of black light it shoots off and you can already see the film where sort of charging up in there look at that it has this really nice pattern the light sort of moving around if you press the rock again you have more of this sort of flashing effect and um if you press it again uh it, it shuts off <laughs> so yeah so you know you could have this just your standard lighting so it sort of fades in and out beautiful as all the precision series sets were and again see filmware charging up his lights in there. This Fillmore was actually re-released, sort of, in the Welcome to Radiator Spring series in uh, around 2020 or 2021 or so. They actually re-released this Fillmore without the rubber tires, but still sort of black light, which was a pretty interesting surprise. Now to show everything really glowing, here it is in my closet in all of its glow-in-the-dark glory. This light is just going to last a few minutes. And then eventually it will fade off. Um, if you want to keep that going on for longer, you could, of course, just turn on the switch. But yeah, look at that. So cool. So great. Obviously, Fillmore's back is way more charged up because his back is usually uh, in there. But still, just so well done. In my opinion, it's easily one of the best Precision Series buildings. But then again, I don't think there are any bad Precision Series buildings other than maybe Lizzie's, which really could have used an interior. But still, absolutely beautiful incredibly well done set as all of these were these are insanely expensive nowadays and honestly yeah they deserve to go for a lot of money for just how good they are the fact that this was only 50 dollars back in the day i feel like kind of took that for granted anyway guys thank you all so much for watching happy birthday to the piston 11 i'll see you guys next time bye now